Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of All About Bridge Engineering and in this episode I will be bringing you some miscellaneous items that are present on the bridge but we seldom pay attention to them. For example, just have a look at this. So these are the drainage pouts which are present on each side of the carriageway to ensure safe passage of water as soon as the bridge is uh, surrounded by water or the bridge receives water through rains so that the water is dispersed very quickly from the bridge deck uh, to ensure that the wearing coat does not deteriorate with time due to the presence of water so you know you see this length is very uh, you know we don't generally know what is the length of this very drainage spout even when we prepare drawings because these are miscellaneous items and all already approved by more so we provide a standard section but it's very important to feel the size of the same you can see it's very huge in size and i have the ruler so let's see what is the length of this typical pipe so this is one ruler and i think i should take it from this side so this is till this this is 30 centimeters and this is again 25 so roughly it is 500 mm or 550 mm this vertic this straight horizontal portion and this conical uh, arrangement is made to you know provide grids so that this is never choked up through stones or boulders which may come on the on the deck during its service stage so just have a look at inside also so can you see this hole uh, through which the water will flow and these will be placed at suitable intervals with time uh, when the deck is about to be casted and meanwhile we will see another miscellaneous component which is the expansion cap or the open expansion joint so you can see this is one built up type open expansion joint uh, which is actually composed of two angle sections and they are actually connected through a plate at the bottom and these reinforcements that are projecting out will be embedded in the deck slab so that this expansion joint stays in place once the bridge is in service so this was miscellaneous item 2 so that's it and uh, yes I have already discussed about the bearings in my previous episode you can have a look at that so I don't find any other miscellaneous item but, but yes I will tell you the bolts which are connecting this whole truss so maybe from another angle I, I can take this view in which we will put the bolts as well as this entire structure so you see that this bolt which is put on top of each other are holding this mammoth huge 52 meter span open web girder and the grade of this bolt is 8.8 .8, high strength friction grip bolts and I think I may not be able to show you the grade due to the focus issues but let's have a try yes in this very bolt it is evident it is 8.8 .8. so this bolt is 8.8 .8 grade you can see it is hexagon from the top and uh, that is the things that we have studied in books so the thread portion you can see have to have you can see the threaded portion which goes through the gusset plates the cover plates as well as the packing plates and over which the final uh, what we say nut is attached so maybe we can have a look at some other items for example this very bolt so you see there is a difference bring it so we have two bolts now which are of the same grade but have a look at the threaded portion so in case you have a connection in which so many cover the thickness of the cover plates and gusset plates is large and maybe this right bolt is not sufficient to go through the same and uh, to be bolted at the other side through the nut we use a longer length bolt and this is the reason you can see this shaft there is a difference between the shaft arrangements, the threaded portions let me have a quick comparison between the two threaded portions so this is roughly you can see 40 mm and uh, this is so this is also 40 mm roughly 40 mm which means the threaded portion remains the same in these two things only the length of the upper portion is changed if we have thicker connection so that was it in the miscellaneous items and now maybe in the coming episodes you will be seeing the reinforcement patterns of this deck 
which are still under place only the bottom face is fully fully placed the top face reinforcement is yet to become so you will be seeing those details in uh, another episode so that's it stay tuned for more such content and if you find it informative don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends